Hi everyone, it's Kenzie Knox and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be painting this painting called Winter Blessings by Joni Young Art. So sit back, relax, and let's start painting. For today's painting, we'll need some white or titanium white, some blueberry frost or a color similar to this. We'll need some neon pink, some neon orange, and some sort of yellow warm or neon yellow warm color will do. Today I'm working on an 11 by 14 mixed media canvas that's been primed with one layer of gesso as well as acrylic black. And so this is just a black primed canvas. Um, you can prime it with any shade of black that you'd like. I just use permanent black. And then we're going to immediately begin off with our size 12 angular brush. You can use a flat brush or any brush that you feel comfortable with. And we're going to dip into our um, yellow Go ahead and get your brush wet actually at first to loosen up the bristles. And then we're going to just dip into our yellow, pink, and orange and just grab it all on your brush. And then we're just going to go up, up here and start pulling in some color. We're going to dip into our white so that the paint shows up more clearly. I'm grabbing a little bit more white. I'm just going to drag that across so that we can see some color on our canvas. I'm going to go ahead and dip into my neon pink, grab some neon orange, and just go along the top. And just pull, grabbing some more neon orange and some titanium white. I'm going to go around the horizon, grab some neon white and some pink. I'm just going to go down here a little bit and pull up a little bit. And then we're going up towards the top. So if your paint's not flowing, you can go ahead and get your brush a little bit wet and then pick up some paint. Grabbing some more white and some neon pink. Just gonna go along the top. Pull over, grab more white, neon pink. Going along this other side over here. And allowing this to mix up on your canvas actually um, allows more colors and shades to come through, which is super exciting just to watch it develop on your canvas. So I'm just picking up some more white and some orange. I'm just going to go down here, picking up some more white, some more orange, and some pink. As we're copying the sky, we're just going to come a little bit lower. Just paint that in there. Grabbing some more pink. Just going to bring that down here. Grabbing some more orange. I'm just going to go right here towards the middle. Grabbing some more pink and orange. Just pulling that in like that. And then we're going to dip into our light blueberry frost color and just bring some of this in here. Maybe just a little here. And over here to bring in some clouds. Tap in a little bit more, I'm just come in over here and over here. Bring in some color like that. You can also dip into our white, pick up some more of that blueberry frost just to clean that up a little bit. I'm going to switch brushes at this point. So I'm rinsing off my brush. I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to pick up my size 4 filbert brush. I'm going to get that wet. Tap off the drips. Dip into my white, my blueberry frost. And I'm just going to draw in some clouds over here. And on this side too. Bring in some white. Having some blueberry frost. Just going over a little bit. Oh, I got a little something on my canvas here. Got some more blueberry frost. Just gonna mix that on top. Okay, so once you're happy with that, we can go ahead and add some black to our palette. I'm going to go ahead and add some permanent black to our palette. I'm also going to add some fluorescent pink to my palette. Grabbing my size 
six flat brush. I'm gonna dip into some white. Just drag this out over here a little bit. And then dip into my pink and orange or whatever's left over on my palette. Kind of blend that out a little bit. Okay, so dipping into my neon pink and orange. Just gonna drag this out a little bit over here. Rinsing off my brush, grabbing my fluorescent pink. I'm just gonna start pulling down. Actually, I'm gonna swoop in a line right here. That fluorescent pink, grab a little bit more. And start pulling down some lines here, some lines here, some lines over here. Grab a little bit more, mix that down here. Grab a little bit of white with some orange. I'm just going to pull some. Grab some neon orange. Pink. I'm just going to smear that down a little bit. Going to rinse off our brush real quick. Going to mix our blue, very frost, with a little bit of black. And we're just going to pull. Actually, I'm going to come over here. Put some of this in here. Grab some more blueberry frost and black. And we're just going to come across here and pull. A little bit more. I'm just going to pull that down. And then using a little bit more blueberry frost and black. I'm just going to create Like a little, I'm actually bring it down a little bit more. Just gonna grab, create a little bit of a landline right here. And just come across like this. Bring this down and tap across. Some blueberry frost and black. And we're just gonna come across like this. Kind of like blend it out. Rinse off your brush real well. Grab a little bit more white. I'm just gonna pull this out. Grab some blueberry frost, maybe. Let's pull some blueberry frost in here. For a cloud. Rinse that out. Grab some more blueberry frost and a little bit of black. And we're just gonna pull something down here. Swoop some blueberry frost down in here. Come down like that. Now using our size six flat brush, we're gonna use it like a palette knife. So go ahead and get some paint on the front of your brush. And we're just gonna create this little landline that comes down like this and just swoops over. And we can just kind of pull that nicely over like this. Just swoop it on over. Using plenty of paint. If you have a palette knife and you know how to use one of those, you can go ahead and use that for this portion of the painting. Get a nice thick coat over that black. Like that, and then for our black landline, grab a little bit of black on your brush. We're gonna create a little, 
hairline like this. That maybe comes out a little bit more down. And then we're also going to cover some of this and some snow here. Kind of some more black. Should pull that out like this. Got some paint on your brush. I'm just gonna scoop that down. Creating um, some sort of shape like that, and then grabbing some more of that blueberry frost. We're just going to add some more of that like right in here. And over here. And a little bit more over here. At this point I'm going to add a little blue kazoo to my palette. The color I'm using is just a little bit too purpley for me. So I'm just going to go over this. Some blueberry fro um, blue kazoo. Here, just gonna add some blue kazoo. It's using plenty of paint on your brush. Got a little bit of white, just a little bit of white on your brush with some water. We're just gonna add some. Some white in here. Just to lighten it up a little bit. I was going to add some more white. Up in here. Grabbing some more white, a neon orange. I'm going to go up to the top again. I might some this up. Grab some more white. It'll be in the neon orange. I'm just going to go up here. Paint that in more of the neon white. Grab some neon pink this time. I mean, titanium white and neon pink. White and neon pink. I'm going to go to the top. Because the black is underneath it, it creates a very, grab some white and um, blue kazoo, it creates a very dark background, which we need to kind of lighten up. Grab some white with some neon pink. Let's move over this. Come on. Grab some white with some fluorescent pink this time. I'm just going to create this right here. Okay. Grabbing some white with that yellow. I'm going to come in here. Grab some more white and some yellow. Rinse out your brush. Grab some more white with some neon orange. I'm just going to paint it in over here. Let's 
Grab some more white. Add some more neon orange. More white with neon orange. Try this way. White with neon orange. And underneath. Grab some white with the fluorescent pink. Things are coming over here. Grab some white and fluorescent pink. We'll drag that in over here. A little bit of fluorescent pink. Come in over here. Over right here. Rinse off your brush real quick. And grab some more white with the blue kazoo. And we're just going to come down like this. Grab some more white with some blue kazoo. And I'm just going to connect this one. Do another one down here with a little bit of blue kazoo and white. Okay, rinse off that brush. Add a little bit more blue kazoo. I'm just going to come up here. Draw that in. Rinse that off real quick. Grab some white, some neon orange. We'll come over here, right? Got some fluorescent pink. Come down here. Some white with some neon pink. Come in here. Rinse out your brush. Grab some white with that yellow. We'll come in here. Rinse out your brush. Grab some more white with some neon pink. Just coming over here. More neon pink and orange. Come over here. Neon pink and orange. And over here. And up top over here. Have some more of neon pink and orange. And over here. Then we're going to grab some yellow. And we're just going to pull some neon yellow down here with some white. Okay. Rinse out your brush. I'm going to grab some titanium white and create our little sun right here. Grab some white on your brush. And we're just going to draw some reflections in the water. A little bit yellow. Grabbing some white and blue kazoo. For now, just going to go over this here. Just very lightly. Mixing some more white and blue kazoo. It's going to come in over here. Very easily. And over here.
Okay, then we tie your brush. Oops, sorry, I actually got some more white and blue kazoo. And we're just going to come up over here. Create a little mound over here. Okay, then we'll tie your brush. Grab some more blue kazoo. Get some white. And we're just going to draw this up. Come down. Grab some more blue kazoo. Blue white, blue kazoo. Rinse out your brush. Using my size two filbert brush, I'm going to add some white, titanium white, add that to my sun again. And just draw this down again. Grab some yellow. Yellow down like this. Rinse out your brush. Grab some white, some neon orange, and some fluorescent orange. And we're just going to draw in a little pastel here. Just to bring up the reflection a little bit, adds movement to the water. And a little bit more. So we're just going to go in here. Find that. Again, over here. Rinse that brush and put that away. And then I'm going to grab my stippling brush, and with it completely dry, I'm going to dip into my black paint. I'm going to start creating some up in the sky, some brush. I'll come down to the, the main line. I'm just going to create some brush over here, and we can touch you over here. All over here, and then even up over this side. Let's eat this. Grab some more black paint. Sometimes you can wet your brush a little bit if you're having trouble with the paint really transferring. Then we're gonna create some foliage. Oh, this may be a little bit too wet. Be careful for that. That's what you kind of don't want. So I'm just gonna tap lighter. Pull some this way. Pull some that way, which will get blurry anyway. And then we're gonna come up. I need to dry this off just slightly. Why is this so wet? It's still very wet, but that's... Oops, sorry guys. It's still very wet. I don't know why. There we go. Okay. And then down here, we're just going to pull. Like that. Over here, we're also going to add some foliage like this. 
and pull, tap, and then tap in here too. For reflection, you can pull some of this. Okay. And then you're going to rinse off that brush. I've got my liner brush. Get that wet. Tap into the black paint. I'm going to start creating some trees here. So we'll have a tree coming up over this way. And a tree coming over this way. You know, as many or as little these as you want. It's completely up to you. Send lots of lines here. And then over here, too. And then we are going to also create a tree that's going to come down to like in the foreground, something like this. And that down here, just into the foreground. Go ahead and rinse off that brush and put that away. And grab a little mop brush like this and pick up some blue kazoo or some light purple violet or whatever color that you like. And then we're just going to tap in some foliage. Down here, we're just going to pull some this one across. And come up here. And let that black kind of mix in because it'll give you different mid tones and shades. down here to so add some some brush Look on the tops of these then we're going to go over some of these Brighten them up a little bit.
I'm also going to add some of this in the water. So I'm just going to add some over here. Tab and pull a little bit. I'm going over some of these. A little bit more in here so it's a see through. And then add some of that white and blueberry frost color. And we're just going to come in here and draw in a little cloud over here. Like that. A little bit more white and blue. A little more blue, blue. Like that, rinse off your brush. Dip into a little bit of black. We're just gonna create some land lines over here. Coming down here. Add a little more black to your brush. We're just going to come along the waterline. Just tap in and pull. Off your brush, grab some black on the tip of your brush. Actually, we're gonna switch brushes. We have a size four fill rate brush like this. Get it wet, tap off the drips, dip into some black on the tip of your brush. We're just gonna add in some brush coming up here like this. Rinse it off real quick, dip into your blueberry frost, that same brush. We're just going to go over it like this, very gently. Like that. Then grabbing a little bit of blueberry frost and black. Give a little shadow for the tree more black. More black. And at this point, I think we're done our painting. So I hope you enjoyed this YouTube tutorial. I know I did. Please remember to click the like button and to subscribe to my YouTube channel for further updates and new coming releases. And so until next time, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye!